Okay guys, so this is the side that we're gonna use to make our channel art and it's called Pixlr Editor So all you have to do is in your search engine just put Pixlr and You'll go here to Pixlr official site and hit editor So um, that's pretty much it. So this page should pop up once you press it So now um, if you're new to the channel considering subscribing because I will make more tutorial videos based on YouTube and um and hopefully you guys can help me reach my goal of 100 subscribers and don't forget to leave a like in this video for more so um now this pixel editor is really free um really easy to use it's really user friendly and i really enjoy it very much um because i made my channel art my logo and um all my thumbnails for all the videos so it's kind of like photoshop but it's just more user friendly and easier to use that's why i really enjoyed it so um let's get started so what we're gonna do is create a new image and I'll just call this banner. So sorry if you can hear my keyboard and my mouse clicking, but everything's still gonna be okay. So the dimension for the width is 2560 for width and the height is 1440. And we're also gonna hit transparent. So this is the banner that you should have. This is what the page should pop up. So now what you have to do guys, um, you have to go to Google and this should pop up and you have to put um, YouTube banner 2560 by 1440 and these two should pop up. You can dial download either of them and it's going to be okay, but you'll need this for the Pixlr editor. So now that we're here, we're going to open layer, open image as layer and I already have everything downloaded, my background, this template and I think it would just be smart for you guys to download it too so you don't have to go back and um, download it again so guys um remember you can pause anytime with the video just like now you can pause to catch up so now that we're here we're gonna click on this little tool right here we're gonna drag right here click drag it in the just in this square because this is where your background is gonna be now you're gonna delete and that's where your little background is gonna be however you want it to be so this gray stuff will not show on your um, picture for your YouTube channel or it's just going to be this um, transparent thing where your background is going to be. Now all we have to do is open layer, open image as layer, and then you're going to choose your background, any background you want. So I got this space star artwork, we open. And if this happens, don't freak out guys, all you have to do is come here to layers, there's layer one click it and drag it at top and it'll just boom it fits perfectly right there and this is what you're gonna see in your channel art so right here is gonna be channel I mean layer one layer two and layer zero that's the order and I, I am gonna keep you guys updated on how um, so you can set everything apart so now that we have this all we have to do is click on layer two and you're gonna hit this little icon behind the beside the trash icon it says new layer you click on it and there's going to be layer three layer one layer three and layer two now layer three is going to be clicked on already so all you have to do is hit this little fill tool make sure it's black and fill it so now that you have that ready all you have to do now is hit this little um settings icon it's going to say opacity and mode and in mode we're going to click it and we're going to go down to overlay now you'll see this little blue thing up. Um, you'll almost see your your background. All we have to do is change the opacity. So this is with zero opacity and this is with 100. And I'm thinking right there at 65. That looks pretty neat. So we're going to go back right here. And that's going to be for layer 3. So now what we want to do is open a new layer again. It's still on layer 3, but we're going to open a new one. Layer 4 now. So this is my style of how I made my ch um, channel art. But remember guys, this is a basic um, all around tutorial of how to make a channel art. And like I have, I've learned to put my little um, personality in it, my little style in it. So once you guys learn more, you can probably change it up a bit like I did. So now you're gonna hit this little shapes tool. Make sure the fill shape is white. That's most important. So you have to come up here, press the color, Put it on white and you're set to go so what you want to do is make a little square in the middle fairly sized square and boom 
So all you have to do is come to layer, rasterize layer, edit, and free transform. This will allow you to manipulate the square in the middle. So I like like a little diamond shape like, a, like that. And now I'm just gonna make it a little bigger. Move it towards the center. That's how I like it. I'm just gonna click down here, apply the changes. Yes, and boom, there we have it. So we're still on layer four, as you can see. All you have to do now is go back to the little settings icon, click it, and go back to overlay. And it will be like a little mirror. I don't, I don't know if you can see the difference, but it's kind of cool. But to make that effect even pop out, you're gonna come here and layer styles, click it. Let me move this out of the way. Hit outer glow, change the color to black. But you can choose any color you guys want, so it won't really matter. But if you wanna follow me, here's what I do. So hardness three and size 63 is good. So we're gonna hit okay. And now it gives you like a depth of space. It's like almost like 3D and which is really cool, which I really enjoy. So we got that part done and we're almost finished. So hang on with me. Now what you wanna do is open another layer right here on layer five and bring out this little piece, uh, the, uh, the shapes tool again. And make sure it's white, the fill shape, make sure it's white. And you're just gonna make a little rectangle all the way up here. And that's good. So what we wanna do again is go back to the settings right here, overlay, boom. Again to this layer styles, outer glow, color black or however you want it. Three, that's 43 is good. Hit okay. So now you can erase this little part with the eraser. And if you guys are in Photoshop, I think you can follow me too. They're, they're quite similar, both of them. So it's not that bad. So we're just gonna erase this part. It should look decent. Okay, now what we do, what we wanna do, since it's filled me a little short, we're just gonna go to layer, rasterize layer, and uh, I mean edit, free transform, and we're just gonna make this a tad longer. Apply the changes, yes. And there we go, that's that's pretty neat. So what this is, this is where your um, your your words are gonna go. It's like an Instagram, you can have your little icon over here and you have your Instagram. And um, we're gonna do the same thing. So now if it's a little brighter, I usually do a second copy. So you go right here to layer five, right click, duplicate letter, layer. And it's, I mean, it's too bright, so we don't need a second layer. So we're just gonna bring this layer, save some space, some time, bring it on this side right here. What we wanna do now is layer, rasterize again for this one, edit, free transform, and all we have to do is turn it around. Make it as fairly even as possible. Boom. Then we're just gonna make it a tad longer. Stop. Right here, we're just stretching it around just to make it fit. So now that we have this, we put yes, and we'll use the little eraser tool to erase this part that got left over. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's pretty much it for that part. So what I have here is the subscribe thing. If you go to my channel and see my channel, I have the subscribe in my Instagram with the little Instagram icon. So now that we have that, we'll go to the text tool right there, right there where it says the A. I'm gonna put here in the middle. This is where your name is gonna be. Right now, this looks good. The color, I want it white so you guys can see it. But I'm not really gonna go in depth of how to color the your text, but I will give you like a little, a little, uh, 
tip for if you want to do it later because it takes time at least for me it does so we go right here what we want to do is bring this little wand right here well first we have to rasterize so we go to layer rasterize layer we got this little wand tool um, click the N go here to grab net and if you can do sideways up and down but I'm just gonna do up and down and there it'll, it'll just turn the N you can do this with all the letters and then that's pretty much how you do the coloring so uh, you can do it any color you can even do um, the outer glow for the name so you can just do let's see you can just go to right here outer glow just put it black but I'm just gonna do it for this letter for this letter and so we go okay so this is how you do the outer glow the the one I have and then the paint but if you want me to go in depth that's that can be for another video on how I'm, I put the background behind my name so now that we got this we go to edit again free transform and you just expand it however big you want it so that's I think that's good enough so now we go again with the letter right here put name you can put your Instagram name here like I have it on my channel oh, wrong one put it white okay. and change the size so it can fit the little bar right here okay that's good and here I have the just the subscribe button right here so you can put remember you can put whatever you guys want but this is basically a basic foundation if you guys want to learn more grow like I did this is a great way to start it out and load and there we go so guys, if you want to color, just did what I did with the end here. You can put the little outer glow on each one of them. But this is basically uh, the foundation of how to make your channel art. Um, I may go in depth, guys, but if you want me to go in depth, please write down in the comments what you want to see for the next video. So this is pretty much it. I hope this was very helpful for you guys. And if it was, remember to subscribe and give a like to this video so I can make more tutorials. And I will always bring up the upload of the content, the Madden Mobile content for those of you who stick around for that. But this is, I already told you in my description, this is going to be um, a part of my channel now. So this is pretty much it, guys. I hope you learned and um, I hope you found this really, really helpful for you guys, for your channel especially. So that's it for me, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day.